Manjushri asks a question. Sutra. Then Manjushri, son of the Dharma king, took pity on the four assemblies, rose from his seat in the midst of the great assembly, bowed at the Buddha's feet, placed his palms together respectfully, and said to the Buddha, "Won't honored one, the great assembly has not awakened. So the principle of the first come was to fold disclosure." Of the essence of seeing as being both form and emptiness, and as being neither of them. Commentary. Then Manjushri, son of the Dharma king, Manjushri, the great wise Bodhisattva, had already understood, but he looked at those in the assembly who had something left to learn. The first stage, second stage, and third stage ahas, and saw them saw that they were extremely pitiful. So he brought up a question. Manjushri is a Sanskrit name that means wonderful virtual. He is also called wonderfully auspicious. The Buddha is the Dharma king, and a Bodhisattva is the son of the Dharma king. Manjushri was an elder among the sons of the Dharma king. He was the leader among the Bodhisattvas. He took pity on the four assemblies: the Bhikshus, Bhikshunis, Upasakas, and Upasikas. Rose from his seat in the midst of the great assembly, and bowed at the Buddha's feet. He stood up and then bowed down to the Buddha and held the Buddha's feet with his two hands. This is a gesture of utmost respect. People's feet are most unclean, and so to use one's hands to hold the Buddha's feet indicates I am beneath your feet. So when you bow to the Buddha. You turn your palms up, and in this position, you should contemplate that your two hands are under the Buddha's feet. This represents the purity of the body karma, because while showing respect in this way, you are not committing any offenses of your body. He placed his palms together respectfully. This represents the purity of the mind karma. In your karma, you also give rise to thoughts. Of true respect, placing your palms together with the ten fingers placed carefully side by side, represents single-minded respect. It means that you turn to one and give undivided attention to revering the Buddha. Placing the palms together is also called uniting the ten to become one, and said to the Buddha, "This represents the purity of mouth karma." Body, mouth, and mind all pay respect. The karma of the body, the karma of the mouth, and the karma of the mind are all pure. This is the purity of the three karmas. Why do people commit karmic offenses? Offenses are most often committed by the mouth. It is said, calamities come forth from the mouth. Sickness enters by way of the mouth. When catastrophes. Before us, when adverse circumstances arise, they are usually brought on by the mouth. You say someone is wrong, and that person comes and treats you rudely. Isn't that a disaster brought about by the mouth? Sickness enters by way of the mouth. When we eat things, we should be careful what we take in. If you are not careful about what you eat, you can get sick. The sickness referred to. Here does not just mean a temporary illness.